Hi, I'm Daniela Graham here at the Blank Park Zoo, and I'd like to share with you what's new at the zoo. Today I'm with Jesse Weeks, one of the keepers here at the zoo. Now tell us, Jesse, who do we have behind us? Right behind us we have Clarence. It's our two-toed sloth. He's 28 years old. He's in the Discovery Center at Blank Park Zoo. That's great. Now I know he lives with a friend. Who, who's that friend that runs circles around him? Um, his name is Lucio, and he's a golden-headed tamarin, a little tiny monkey from Brazil. And it's quite a contrast. He's a fast little monkey that runs circles around the sloth. And the sloth, as most of you guys know, pretty much just sleeps all day. <laughs> That's right. Now, I know we always say if you're sloth-like, you move pretty slow. Now, is that true? Or do Can sloths move fast, or why, why do they move so slow? Um, one of the big reasons why they move so slow is because in the wild they eat a lot of leaves and shoots which are kind of hard to digest and so much like a cow um, that just takes a long time to digest their food, sloths just need to sleep and let their food digest. Also, that's the best way that they can avoid predators in the wild. It's called cryptic camouflage. What they do is they just remain as still as possible and predators will pass right by. That's really interesting. Now, how do you here at the zoo, if you've got fast little monkeys and a sloth in the same enclosure, how do you take care of them? And does the monkey try to steal his food or how does that work? Very good question. Um, during the day, because sloths are nocturnal, during the day, the sloth just has some greens to eat. And that's not very attractive for the monkey, so he doesn't really want to eat that. At night, we lock the monkey into a holding area, and then we give the sloth his more tasty treats, which is yams, apples, bananas. And we also feed the monkey inside. So we have to separate them to feed them. That's interesting that you always have to think about the animal's behavior and constantly think how to take care of the animals, especially with a mixed exhibit like that. Exactly. Um, so, here at the zoo, I know you guys do a lot of training. Do you do any training with the sloth? Um, we're actually just starting to what we call desensitize the sloth to allowing us to be near him, touching him, and just desensing him to what we call taction. And that's so if he ever gets sick, he won't be scared of us coming and grabbing him. Um, and we start off with really small steps, just going up and touching his arm lightly, giving him a piece of banana. Um, and then the, maybe the next week we would move his arm slightly, give him a piece of banana. And then eventually, um, hopefully he would actually climb into our arms and allow us to take him down and put him on a scale or put him in a crate, whatever we need to do that day. That's wonderful. What an interesting job. Thank you so much. I'm Daniela Graham at the Blank Park Zoo, and that's what's new at the zoo.